Hi guys, my name is Sam. I'm currently a student at the University of Cambridge studying economics. And in this video, I'm gonna go through the things that helped me achieve four A stars in my A-levels. And for me, those A-levels were maths, physics, economics, and further maths. So the first thing is to work hard. Now this should be obvious and should go without saying, but unless you're next level intelligent, you will need to work hard during your years at sick form in order to achieve the goal of straight A stars. On the flip side, it is also true that if you're working really hard, but you're not working productively or in the right ways, again, you're unlikely to achieve your goals. So I guess you could say working hard is necessary, but alone it's not sufficient. Okay, the second thing is to engage in lessons. Now this aspect is often overlooked by a lot of students. Now this isn't just about asking questions to the teacher and putting your hand up and participating in class discussion, although that stuff is really good. But what I want to put the emphasis on is trying to come out the lessons with a new sense of understanding. So really focus on what your teacher is saying and really try and understand that. Instead of sort of just sitting there passively in the classroom, kind of thinking, oh, I'll learn this when I go home. Try really hard to gain that understanding in the lesson, as this will massively benefit you when it comes down to revising. By really engaging in your lessons and focusing in your lessons, it means that you get the majority of understanding of topics and concepts done in the classroom. And this way, revision is just about revisiting it or practicing it so that in the exam, you know how to do it and you fully remember the concept or topic. And let's say you are focusing and really engaging in the lessons and things still don't make sense. Don't be afraid to put your hand up and ask questions. Don't be afraid to speak to your classmates and don't be afraid to go to the teacher at the end of the lesson and ask specific questions so you get one-on-one -on -one feedback and one-on-one -on -one explanations. And then the third aspect I wanna talk about is mindset. So throughout your years at sixth form, you don't always have to stay motivated. Motivation comes and goes, but what's really important is to try and stay disciplined. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with having a few rest days where you do no studying at all when you get home. But a lot of the time I personally found that a lot of it is just overcoming that activation energy of getting started with studying. And after that, it's plain sailing and it's fine. Again, I personally found that that first kind of 15, 20 minutes are the most difficult. That's the time when you're most distracted, you're not really into your work. But once you get through that period, you start to get into a rhythm, you start to actually get into the work you're doing, and then that motivation comes back and you're happy to keep going. Okay, and then the big topic, number four, is revision. And I split this down into three subsections, and those are understanding, memorizing, and then practicing. So first, let's start with the understanding. So like I said, it's really useful if you can try and get the majority of understanding done in the lessons, in the classroom but inevitably there'll be some things which you don't understand once you come out of a lesson, and that's okay. So I've split down the things that help me with understanding into kind of three further subcategories. So those are using your brain, using your friends, and using your teachers. So what I mean by using your brain is try and truly think about the topic, and it's something that a lot of students don't really do that often. But I personally found that a lot of times when I don't understand something, it's because I'm not really thinking about it hard enough so what helped me sometimes was just going away and then coming back to it 20 minutes later with a fresh brain and kind of approaching it from a new angle or thinking about the topic differently and that really helped with understanding. What I personally found is once you found that one way of understanding a topic or concept, it really does stick. So first and foremost, really and truly try and think about the concept or topic that you're trying to understand. And then also under this category, use the resources that you yourself have available to you. For me personally, YouTube videos were really, really helpful for helping understand topics which I didn't quite get. And then the second kind of sub sub category is using your friends. So friends are a big resource. They're literally learning the exact same thing as you and also using your friend benefits both of you. It benefits you because you're the one being explained the topic to and gaining that understanding. And it benefits them as it tests if they truly understand it and explaining something to someone really does solidify your own understanding. And then the final section of this understanding section is use your teachers. Now teachers are a massive and really, really useful resource, especially in sick form. I definitely felt the teachers became a much bigger resource once I got to A-levels compared to GCSEs. And I also found they were much more willing to help and the help they provided was much more useful. So what I recommend is maybe once you've expended these first two things of using your brain and using your friends, don't be afraid to just drop your teacher an email, asking them to explain something or asking to meet up with them if they can explain something in person. But doing this is really helpful and it really does help with your understanding. Okay, and then the second part of the revision aspect of doing well in your A-levels is memorizing. So once you've learned and understood the content, you have to find a way to remember it for the exam. There are many ways to do this, but I personally like to use flashcards. There are many apps and websites that are really helpful, for example, Anki and Quizlet, or you might just like to make paper flashcards. But for me personally, the website and app I found the most useful was Brainscape. As you can see, I use Brainscape for all my physics revision cards, 
and for the second year of my economics revision cards. And if you're interested, you can find more details about Brainscape down in the description. But essentially, finding any method that allows you to utilize both space repetition and active recall is really what's essential for the memorization aspect of revision. Just a quick note before we move on, this making flashcards doesn't apply for every subject. For example, I never made flashcards for maths and further maths. I just understood the content and then did lots and lots of exam practice. Which nicely moves me on to the third and final aspect of the revision section of doing manual A-levels, which is practicing. And this entails doing exam-like questions and doing exam papers. And ideally, when you're doing these past exam questions, doing them in exam-like conditions is really useful. So not only is doing exam papers good to give you a general gauge of what grade you're working at, more importantly, they're really useful for seeing where your weaknesses truly lie. So after you've done the exam paper, I found it so useful to go through, make corrections, see what I got right, but more importantly, see what I got wrong. And then by doing this, I could see what areas I wasn't so good at, and I could then adapt my revision to focus on these weaknesses. For example, I can go back and check if I truly understand the topics and concepts underlying these questions. And if I do, but I just can remember it, then I can focus more time on the revision cards for that topic or for that concept. And then the final thing I want to say before ending this video is that exams are not the be all and end all. For example, it's really important to take care of things like your physical and mental health, especially during exam season. So I want to say, make sure that revision and studying for exams doesn't take too much away from seeing your friends, from exercising, from participating in the hobbies you like to do and things like that. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and I'll see you next week. Goodbye.